Good morning. I'm awake! I don't know how anyone gets up when the sky is so dark. She's awake. <laughs> Morning, family. I hope you all don't crash on me today. Mm -hmm. Morning. 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 <laughs> you see that? She psyched me out. I need another one. Do you want mine? Absolutely not. Why? I've only been sitting there for an hour. <laughs> Are you ready for a busy day, baby? Yeah, man. I got my extra two hours. <laughs> I think this is my favorite part of the day. Me too. Bye, Bia. You're probably gonna wake up, <laughs> Today, we've got a sprinkle of rain and a lot of hard work on the agenda. And of course, a lot of play. It's gonna be a good day. You know, it's easy to sit inside when it's drizzling, but with how on and off this weather is, you just gotta get out there. And we're gonna start by preparing for next winter. If you can believe it or not, it just ended and we're about to get going again. Thank you to BetterHelp for sponsoring this week's video. Therapy has helped me so much when going through hard times. It can also help you get through some of the hard times that you may be going through too. You do not need to struggle alone. Having the opportunity to see a silver lining through challenging times gives me hope. And through talking with a therapist, it's allowed me to find the tools to navigate personal things such as complicated family issues and times where I'm feeling down and I don't feel like doing anything at all. Therapy is okay. In fact, it's amazing. And all of my friends that I've talked to about therapy and who have experienced the benefits of therapy have had such good transformative experiences. And that's everyone that I've talked to. It feels really good to be open and honest with someone outside of my inner circle, a professional. If you're struggling with stress, anxiety, low mood, or anything like that, there are over 4 million people who have joined BetterHelp to start leading happier and healthier lives. Click the link in our description or go to betterhelp.com forward slash vanwise for 10% off your first month of therapy. Ready to cut some logs, cowgirl? 2025, here we come. You know, people are gonna be so confused. They're like, I thought you were going to Baja. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty sweet that this woodshed is so big that it can be raining. You can be hanging in here. Love that. So big, but it doesn't even fit all our wood. Yeah, we've got a lot of wood, as you all know. In the summer, there's so much to do. And then you end up doing your firewood in the fall or in when it's cold. And there's not much to do when the ground is semi-frozen and there's not much outdoor projects, you know? So you might as well get your firewood done now. Perfect timing, I have to say. Mm -hmm. We're learning. We also made a pack that we would just pick away at it over like the next nine to 10 months. And that way a little gets done every week, you know, come out here. Way more enjoyable. Get your blood flowing. Cut some wood for half an hour. You do that once a week, by the end of the year, we're gonna be swimming and kindling. Jazzy and I were going through some old footage the other day and I found a shot of Jasmine talking about wishing that she had had a tractor. Tractor with forks on it. I wish. It is just so nice to be able to have the ability to move firewood around, move materials around. It saves us so much time and manpower and we're able to put that into other things. Clementine is the best. <laughs> This will be for 2027. <laughs>
This will have a long time drying out before we get to burn it one year. I feel like we're uh, either hardly making winter in our first couple of years here or we're uh, way ahead of the game. There's no one between with Jazz and Crystal. <laughs> we're gonna fill this one up right now and it is going to go over to our spa area and keep us... We're anticipating a relaxed. big... Relaxed. <laughs> All summer. <laughs> yeah, we're just creating a good spa season. So let's get the lumba over there. Lumba? Lumba. Nice, easy access. Good job, operator. High five. Good work. You too. Good start. You're not doing those, eh? Hmm? Come on, girl. Good work. <laughs> Thanks, dear. While we're taking care of everything and getting ready for spring, why not take care of ourselves and get in that sauna for the first time in 2024? Nice and convenient. So convenient. It's barreling, eh? If you don't like tofu, you're gonna love it after this. Shred it, spice it. Cook it. Don't worry, I'm not throwing the kale on the floor. It looks like it, eh? Loves the compost bin. <laughs> Don't get between Bella and her compost. I'm so excited. It is almost up to temp. Also, we need to fix our method to get there. That's gonna be a project coming up because it's a mucky mess. Did you want to eat first or sauna first? Wowzer. She's a chef and a woodswoman. And a fast, I just want to say that. You took the words <laughs> out of my mouth. Shredded chicken. It's stunning, girl. It may look like a lot of greens, but I'll be honest with you all. The last four days, all we've been eating is mac and cheese. <laughs> we had no groceries. <laughs> that rhymes. Crystal wants to show you all her sandwich. Zoom in on that. Thank you so much. Thank you. Are you a... Chicken sandwich kind of person or just chicken on a plate? The good old pillow and plate TV dinner style. <laughs> Absolutely not. Part where you want to just go out there, but this is the part you have to tell your brain, I'm okay. I'm so zoomed on your sway face. <laughs> it's really raining now. The famous question, what's going on with the greenhouse? Let's find out. Remember that video we made everyone of why it's hard to live off grid? And the rat? You don't know how good it- ah! Crystal, no! It's not a rat, I'm pretty sure it was a bunny. Anyways, the people that were looking after our cabin called it Ronald the Rat, so. As you can see, this place has been overwintering. And although there may be someone in here overwintering with 
the kale and the dead tomatoes. I'm pretty nervous. <laughs> we have a lot to clean up because in the fall there was something burrowing in here. So we've got to clean all this up, get all these plants out of here, and make it, prepare it for a new season. If anyone has a greenhouse, how do you keep animals out of your greenhouse? I'm genuinely very curious because obviously this is a great place to hang out. You keep the door open for pollinators. Like, I'd be in here if I was a bunny munching. This is free food, easy. Don't have to work for it. I'm honestly curious. This is quite the mess to clean up, I have to say. If anyone knows what animal's poop that is, just by looking at it, write in the comments. I'm gonna Google. Rat droppings are typically easy to identify. Black or dark brown pellets that are slightly larger than grains of rice. Those are much larger than grains That's of rice. That's why I think it's a rabbit. 12 to 18 millimeters, get a measuring tape out or something. One and a half to three fourths Could of an be. inch. That's rat poo. We don't know, Jazzy. One and a half drama. to three, f I'm not drama, Chris. Like, we there was know. a rat there. Obviously, it, it, uh, that looks like rat poo. Here's the Google <laughs> image. Rabbit poop. It's not rabbit. Rabbit poops pellets. <laughs> oh, it's round, yeah. That's rat poo. I have now Google imaged three different types of poop from three different species of animals. And I can 100% say that is rat poo. We're dealing with rats again. Let's hope Ronald's not still in here. I know that in a matter of no time, She'll be beauty again. Can I buy a tractor if you don't want to be here, girl? My tractor is my best friend. All the plants, you still get that aroma. Lemon balm, sage, whatever else is in there. Smells good. First load of grass seed, wood chips, and Dying plants and material, it's on the way out. Patio culture. Ow. Where are we at? We're almost done here. Beds are like prepared. Wow, look at it in here, everyone. It doesn't look much like a difference. But are you kidding me? I think it, it looks like a different greenhouse. <laughs> it looks like the Van Wives house instead of Ronald's house now. Yeah, Ronald. We never found Ronald. Ronald, are you in there? That looks like a hole that you would have made. I hope it's not too early for this, but... Oh my goodness gracious. I did it. It's that time of year again, Bella! <laughs> No frozen water lines, and Bella's favorite toy is back. Minus lamb chop. Time to activate spring mode now. Activated. We might not have found Ronald, but I think Bella did. She found Ronald's hole. She just went so weird. Where is it? What's there, Bear? Right there. It must have ran out. We should put something there. She literally just went from here, ran inside, started freaking out, and now she's like, she's a hunter. Tell everyone what Bella's caught before. Oh yeah, Bella's caught a couple rabbits. Squirrels. Yeah. You name it, it has four legs. Or two. Kids. She's on it. <laughs> Did Ronald leave? Or is Ronald being smart and waiting patiently until we give him more food and water? Well, you just gave him a lot of water. Ronald's happy now. Probably under back there. What's up, Sheriff? Where is it? I love her. She's so funny. Who needs a cat when you got these two? I do want a cat though. Should we get a cat? Come on, soft, turn the key and cool. 
Normally I'd go around to the side door, but it was very slow. Just a pan right to it. <laughs> a little bit of an obstacle. Every day is the same. It was beautiful, now it's raining. You can have the evening night shift off, Bella. You did such a good job supervising today. Good night. Wake up, you're on duty now, Izzy. Woke up, half cup, what are you looking for? Just a half. Pulled pork tofu. <laughs> zoom in on that! Do it. Hmm? You said zoom in on that. It was funny. Do it again. I said that? Yesterday. Zoom in on that. <laughs> you remember, I remember that? that? She's funny and doesn't even know it. I don't remember <laughs> saying that. How did I say it? Was it funny? It was really funny. Zoom in on that? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah. The sandwiches are so good! <laughs> If I'm gonna be anyone, I wanna be Clark! Yeah, I'm right. Women's sports! I can't give up till I score. Come so on, lady! Yeah! yeah. <laughs> Project planning! We're taking all of you along for everything. I'm excited to do this. This is gonna be a cool project. I got a lot of orange, eh? You didn't get a measuring tape. No. <laughs> Went back in. Are you serious? Seriously. We're planning out a project here at the cabin and Jasmine got the spray paint, the hammer, the stakes, everything you need, even a coffee to get you fired up, but not the measuring tape. <laughs> so. What do you think we're building? We're gonna do a lot of mapping out, give you a lot of nuggets. All right, we're dealing with an 11 by 10 by 14 foot area. Wanna go in more? No, not at all. Well, this is gonna be so cute. I would like come a foot out from this huge tree though, to be honest. No. I like it right here. I just feel like that's, okay. We're gonna need a lot of fill, but. That's fine. Okay. What else is new around here? Okay. Rocks and fill, and that's what you girls gotta work with. Rocks <laughs> and fill. There's nothing cuter than Bella joining us to do all this planning. And I'm really happy we're bringing you along for it too, because we do a lot of this in the background where we just walk around, have conversations and talk about what, what we're doing. <laughs> My vision is, is that here the pizza oven is, that deck height continues all the way here. It's a high up, does that make sense? No, I get that, but like- so you, gotta, you just, you don't, you come from the pizza oven, you don't- Listen, you, you gotta water. realize you're dealing with propane, electrical, water, every other line here. This is spooky territory. I saw the coolest thing that I'm gonna show you. And She's a visionary. Okay, yeah, so like almost 10 by 11 by 14. Anyway, it's gonna be big and fun, but you are getting rained on. So if you can only guess what something of that size would be. I can spell it, can I? <laughs> no. Okay. Okay. It's a big one. It's half the size of the cabin. <laughs> Looks like the start of a very exciting project down here. Give me your best guesses. What do you think we're starting with? We're off to go mark out our next structure we're gonna be building on this property. And I'll give you the biggest hint ever. Clementine. Hard eyes. Looks like a good spot. All right, we've just mapped out a lot, which means we can get a move on starting our foundations very soon and i say very soon because in nova scotia well at least where we are there's a limit of weight that can go on our roads just because there's so much freezing and thawing and freezing and thawing that we would ruin the roads not like they're not ruined already 
<laughs> Nova Scotian roads. If anyone knows, you know. Honestly, it's so funny. People always talk about the roads in Mexico, but the roads in Nova Scotia are so bad. Like I almost yeah. hit a crazy bottle the other day. And when you hit that one, sometimes it's going to take you to the moon. Yeah. What a little explorer. Come on. <laughs> she loves it out here. Does she ever. To be a retired Bella, man. She's quite the supervisor. She's been following us around all day, keeping us in track. Yeah, she makes sure we're not, you know, dilly-dallying. All right, Bella, whatever you say. Do you want to know what she just told me? Get the chainsaw out, girl. <laughs> Your ear muff. <laughs> On top of your head. Guess who's back? Sparky's back. <laughs> That's all you, girl. There's not a lot of big trees in here. Almost all of them are twigs. <laughs> well, is there yeah. any big trees where we live? Yeah, sure. Right there and right there. And right there. On the outskirts of <laughs> where we're going to be putting this. So I'm just going to start at the front and work my way back. That way I'm not tripping over anything, and then you can pile it up here. Clementine and I. Yeah. All right. Pretty soon Jazz and Clem are going to have a channel called Jazz and Clem. Nice. Should I do that? Yeah. You and the garden are going to have a channel. <laughs> Chris and my garden. Those tomatoes. <laughs> okay. Considering we have enough firewood to last us about eight years, just kidding, but a long, long time, we are taking all of these very small trees and we are going to put them into a burn pile. We have loads of piles of brush already in the woods that have just been sitting there. It's a lot of work and it's a lot to take care of. This spring, we have a lot of cleanup to already do. If you could just be out here and take a little walk around. Having these piles of brush all around the property really is not good, especially going into wildfire season. Um, as summer is approaching, it's really important that we continue to clean up the forest floor and thin things out. Although this is gonna take many years, we don't wanna make any more work for ourselves. So into the fire it goes today. And maybe later we'll roast a weenie or two on there or sit down and get some warmth from that fire. Sizzling! First run, I guess we're gonna call it, is done. Looks like Crystal has more for me in the driveway. Oh my gosh! I love that sound. Do you guys wanna sit by the fire? Enjoy the fire, don't melt! Part of the reason we chose to build the pole barn machinery storage <gasps> I just told you, is because this area is far enough away from the cabin. It's hidden in the trees perfectly like that, as well as there was not very many trees. So less work, but also taking it down less amount of trees. And a lot of the trees in this area were already dead. That last tree gave me some real trouble. Jasmine and I were trees. That's how we'd be going down together. They were looped right into each other. So when I got the big one down, it, I didn't actually fall and I tried getting it down with all my might for a good couple of minutes there and I just had to take Buddy with him. I love that sound. Looking great, Chris. I have to pee, but I don't want to take my pants off. The chops, eh? <laughs> I have to say, you've come a long way in the chainsaw world. Well, I'm gonna change outside because I probably have ticks on me. <laughs> what? You just look burnt. From the fire. I was awfully close. I thought I might have lost my brows. Sorry. When I was in elementary school, a couple, three gals and I, <laughs> I learned a new story about you all the time. We tried to do um, the talent show with the batons, except I didn't make it and they did. No. So our act moved on, like moved on just then. So, like doing their little things. I think I was too shy anyways. <laughs> oh my god, just imagine quiet crystal. Quiet crystal. Yeah.
fluffy soil, very important for seedlings. So yeah, if you haven't guessed, that's gonna be our greenhouse for our seedlings. All right, tell us the trick. The trick is to loosen up the soil, put it into a bucket bigger than these trays, get those all lined up, and just let it wa- <laughs> I made a mess. Let it waterfall down to fill every single cloud. Cell, is that what they're called? Mm -hmm. So scientific of you. How happy are you that you're getting this done way earlier than last year? <laughs> I'm very happy. We're still a little late to the game, I but... I was say early. I was like, I don't know how early we are. No, early for Jazz and Crystal. That's right. This is the first time that we go into the growing season with garden beds built, greenhouse built, and seedlings planted. So... Yeah. I think we're going to be more successful every year. It gets better. It's getting stuck to my finger. There. One of the most excited to grow. Cucumber lemons. Lemon cucumbers. They are cool. All this planting of fresh good food is getting me thinking about dinner time. I'm hungry, not gonna lie y'all. And it's putting me in the mood for one of the greatest meals of all time. All the seeds are planted. I planted so many different things. All of the herbs went overboard on kale, basil, green onions, all of the things that we use so much. Tell them about the tomatoes. Our neighbors taught us. We oh yeah, and we got in indeterminate. I need to Google it. Indeterminate. Our neighbors told us to grow these tomatoes, and the reason why is because they spend more time growing tall, and they produce slower and more steadily over the season, and producing later into the season. And their tomatoes were amazing, and I cannot wait to have amazing tomatoes. They got so many pounds. Also, if you're wondering why we chose to do the seeds inside, that's because the greenhouse is still too cold. A lot of people start their seedlings between February and March, and it's far too cold in our greenhouse at this time of year. And it's a large space where this is a much smaller contained space, keeps things organized, and it's easier to keep this heated. So once these little babies grow up to be little toddlers, we'll bring them out to the greenhouse and they will thrive. I'm not gonna lie, it's really hard to do all this talking when my tummy is growling and this entire cabin smells like turkey dinner. There we go. Thank you. You're okay. I love it. <sighs> yeah, I know you're jealous, dog. <laughs> you too, you're definitely jealous. I know you're all gonna wanna go make one of these tonight. How many of you just turned to the friend, roommate, partner, and said, can we make turkey dinner? I know, turkey's only celebrating. Mm. That yeah. gravy's bomb. Amazing. Thank you so much. Thank you. Have a great day. Bye. <laughs> I need a coffee. <laughs> Is it ordered? We're getting it figured out. We've got half of it.
Vem, 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 vem!